heard that many kids uh, have either learned wrong fingerings or have a bad understanding of the use of half holes and flicking in the whisper key. And uh, so Lynn, why don't you kick us off with this one? Okay. Uh, I do recall when I was in the seventh grade and I started fresh on bassoon. I had only played piano. This was very, very foreign. So once I had it put together and I have kind of a more student model instrument for you, this concept of creating a half hole was very, very foreign. So I struggled and I started to slide. So just popping my finger up and down, up and down across the nice smooth instrument. You can see with this one, this is a black polypropylene instrument with a lined tone hole. So you can see the tone hole very nicely up there for the left index finger. For the student to create a half hole, the angle of the horn is gonna be about like this. And and if they can maintain contact with the tone hole, they are going to be able to find it again much better than if they completely remove the finger from the tone hole. This is really, really tempting, especially for kids that have come onto this instrument from other instruments where there is a key for each of these three fingers. So in this case, tone holes, just like the clarinet. So it's a downward rolling motion so that they are maintaining contact with the instrument body. G natural, top space in the bass staff is the primary fingering. And to have your kids practice this, just have them play low G. So one, two, three, one, two, three. And then once they've established that low G, just have them roll that index finger downward and voila, the upper octave is going to speak when the instrument has a large enough half hole to create that upper octave. Okay. A flat, usually a slightly smaller half hole, F sharp, and that's the front F sharp for best intonation, also a large half hole. So F sharp and G large, A flat, a little bit smaller. A lot of bassoons will crack if you give it a gigantic half hole for A flat. Um, flicking, that is a speaking exercise only. It is a, just like the word would imply very, very swift motion just to vent to allow a very small amount of air to come out of those tone holes. Okay, Flick A for A. So once the kids understand that this is the A key, they can remember that that's the one that they flick for A, A natural. This is top line A in the bass staff. Most bassoons respond best when you flick the next key up for B flat, B natural, and possibly C. Have your kids check on their individual instruments though, because some instruments will behave, unfortunately they're strange and individual animals, so they will behave differently. Those are probably the big ones. Um, front B flat, I think Todd would probably agree with this one too. Front B flat, you can see on my own instrument, that key is not even there. It's been removed and you can see that little hole. Okay? That's how much I use front B flat. <laughs> it will also get in the way for small hands. So small hands will constantly be accidentally bumping both keys at the same time. If you have a child with small hands, just take that little guy right off, seal it up in an envelope, label it. So you'll have it if you ever want to put it back on. That way they can reach the G key more easily without accidentally contacting another key first or at the same time. Those are probably the big ones. Excellent. Todd, what do you think? Is there anything you want to add to that? The first time I played a audition for a music camp, I tried playing the F major scale using the fingering chart that I'd been given that showed only the front French B flat. It didn't have the thumb B flat on the chart. And so I played F, G, oh. A, A. I was playing on Ron Klimko's bassoon, which also had no French B flat in the front. And it was a very embarrassing experience to try to find it, yes. So uh, yes, I can't remember the last time that I used that front B flat. It's been decades. So. Excellent. No, that's, that's great stuff. I, Tell my beginners, Lynn, that uh, on the half hole, they either that they rock or roll. They can rock and roll, but just never slide. 